why am I choosing the realities that I'm choosing? You know, what is the emotional need behind these beliefs? People's, when people's realities get threatened, right? And they get threatened by variable perspectives. So somebody comes in and it's like, I don't see the world. I'm not existing in that model of the world. This mm -hmm. is how I see it. Um, if you're not very secure and confident in what you believe, um, and when what does it mean to be secure and confident in what you believe? Because that's important to understand. Yeah, let's does, us, yeah, yeah don't tell us. It doesn't mean that you're right. It doesn't mean that your perspective is right or wrong. It yeah. just means that you are actively deciding that this is how I want to experience my reality. These are the things that I want in it. And it is okay, completely okay, if that does not fit into someone else's model of the world. I often say like one person's um, blessings is another person's demise. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just understanding like, what do I need? What's right for me? How do I want to experience my reality? And that doesn't make me right or wrong. That doesn't make me better or worse. This is just what I am consciously deciding and choosing for myself. So, and I see. The, so yeah. you're you're really explaining a lot of self empowerment. Of this is this is my choice. These are you know even if it's like it's like this ownership mentality of everything, yeah. Yeah. which is a balancing act because you the thing that comes in with that that's really important is intention, right? Mm -hmm. Because there are people who move through life that's like, I don't care, I'm gonna do what I want. Like, this is how I see it. I have no consideration for anyone else. This is my life, right? Mm -hmm. And that can actually create a lot of harm towards themselves and other people. You enjoying this so far? Did you forget to subscribe? Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it, little like. All right, enjoy the rest of this content. So in order to really be empowered and, and in uh, harmony, I should say, with the reality that you're constructing and building, you have to first really review and ask yourself, why am I choosing the realities that I'm choosing? You know, what is the emotional need behind these beliefs? Yeah. What is the um, intention that I want these things to bring me or other people? So that's why intention is really important in self-discovery or self-motivation. Like, what am I intending to create out of these perceptions, out of these experiences, because it's important to understand your thoughts, your perception, your words, they are not just thoughts, they're frequencies. Your yeah. thoughts are a vibrational frequency that almost work as a plug. They plug you into different realities, different experiences, different emotional states. And when you start to understand that, you have to really stop and ask yourself, like, do you know? Do I like the th way that this thought process is making me feel? Do I like the things that it's attracting into my life? Is there a way that I can shift it? And again, in order to be, you use the word empowered, but I, I, t I tend to say, that is one way to explain it, but I would say um, just leading leading your life <laughs> yeah yeah just just to be leading your life and and moving with intention in that way um it's really just about asking yourself like okay like am i happy with the things i'm attracting you know do i want do i want these things if you like this content make sure that you like subscribe and comment below and we also have amazing link right there for some cool product i know you want to check it out i know you want to click it go ahead go ahead come on you can do it all right, until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.